Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna show you a nice workflow for creating whooshes and whoosh sound effects using NVK tools. I'm gonna be using NVK Create as well as NVK Auto Doppler to be able to really quickly generate a lot of really nice and useful whoosh sound effects. So with that said, let's get into our project and get going. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper, and the first thing I'm gonna do here is load up NVK Create. These are gonna be paid tools, so I'm gonna have links down in the description below. They are affiliate links, so if you do purchase them, I do get a little kickback, but I do use these all the time in my workflow, so that's why I'm using them here, and that's why I'm sharing them with you. All right, in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for glitches. Once I have that, I'm gonna press my tab key here, and this is gonna be so that we can do a multi-layered sound effect. So I'm gonna have 20 variations of three items, so these are like three layers, uh, two seconds in length, uh, pitch can be up or down, 12 semitones. Offset, you can play around with this. I'm gonna do uh, 0.1 offset here and reverse 100%. So I'm, basically I wanna reverse my sound so I get this like reverse uh, impacts or reverse glitch sounds. And then you just get a, a lot of cool sounds that way, I find. So I'm just gonna try that out, see what we get. All right, so here is what we have so far. Right, sounds cool, sounds good. It could probably work just on its own. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna add NVK Auto Doppler. You wanna make sure you have all these selected and uh, you have the entire selection on all of these sounds for it to work properly. So I'm gonna load it here and you're gonna see that it kind of has this position track here lined up and I'd like to just touch a parameter here just so it kind of sets us up for each of our sounds here. So now we should be good to go. So now with these modulations in place, we should have a cool whoosh sound. So with that, you can like easily just use that and, and be done and, and create some cool sound effects that way. So I'm gonna play around with the amount here. This is the pitch amount or the playback rate around amount. All right, so some of these are, are good, they're good. Uh, I'm gonna do a touch on a few settings here. One is I'm gonna put my limiter on and a bit of compression. So it kind of really brings out the sound a bit. Okay, that's fine. The other thing I like to do is I like to have a few effects on here. So the first thing I'm going to load here is Infiltrator. And on here, what you, I mean, you can kind of play around with different things here, different settings. I like to have the reverser. So a, like a reverser, a reverse effect. And here, I'm just going to play around with this. I'm just going to set it here to about a third of speed and the tempo I'm going to bring up all the way to 1 16th. So now if we play something. That's what it sounds like. Now I'm gonna bring the mix all the way back to about 25%. So it just blends in with the, that original sound source. Maybe I'll add a bit of compression and drive here. The next thing I'm gonna add is some sort of delay. I like dual delays because you get more of a complex tail. So I'm just gonna use the one by Kilohertz here. I'm gonna bring up the crosstalk a little bit and I'm gonna bring the mix quite a bit down. It's gonna be around four or 5%, no more than that. And now let's have a listen. All right, and now I can play around with the attack and the release a little bit. Another little thing that you might want to tweak is adding a nice fade out at the end here, especially if you have like hard endings at the end here. So I'm just going to bring these in a little bit. All right, and just like that, it's really easy to create a whole bunch of whoosh sound effects that you can then grab up here from our global sampler. I can drag it back down, I can export it or do whatever with it. And of course, it's easy to just grab all of these and hit NVK replace. Um, again, this is an, uh, comes with the script. It's another action that comes with the NVK create script. So there you go. And now I have a whole bunch of new and different whooshes that I can generate really quickly. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so that is it. I hope you found it useful and valuable. I know it's a bit of a shorter video, but I was getting a lot of cool results with this, so I did want to share it with you. So um, if you want to see more of Woosh sound design tutorials, I did a free training, so I'll make sure to have a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's absolutely free. You just put in your email and you can watch this. I think it's a 38-minute long training that I did from creating simple Woosh's all the way to complex Woosh's and, and everything in between. So if you're interested in seeing that, check the description. I'll have a link there for you. Also, if you are if you just want to see another video where I create some Woosh sound designs, I'll have it on the screen here right now. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching all the way through to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.